Well, I'm working. We're still working on this. And there, eventually it's going to have this part and this part is all going to be done like that where we can grow things under the side rails and we're going to have gravel to walk up through there and then we've got a little uh, trays and the back window opener does its job does a good job we looked at what one guy had he had took a two before and made a brace so because we do get snow and ice here I didn't use the greenhouse plastic because I needed it before I could order it and get it in so this will have to do for now I use this on the chicken coops to block the wind and the Summertime or wintertime keeps it from freezing them. And I know this stuff don't last, but about uh, maybe uh, it might last a season. Found these on eBay. They're little sprinkler systems. And there's like a mister. And a lot of times you find them on the patio and whatnot things. Um, a little late to start sewing. I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm having a hard time finding what we grow. Seems like everybody wants to sell the genetically modified crap. And down at the bottom, went by Wally World and just bought me a little separator. This is the line that runs inside to the misters. This line runs underneath the tray. I did the greenhouse plastic, you can just see it. Runs under the tray and it'll be underneath the dirt, coiled up to feed it. And of course, we put down plastic, which, you know, we're not permanently attached to plastic yet. Started out with some pebbles, but I think I'm just going to go with gravel. It's cheaper and does the same job. But this is what it turned out to be. Is three panels long, and I think it's more than enough. And as you can see, I've started a few things, and I've got a few things that I'm starting. So, got these at Tractor Supply, and some of these I got at Tractor Supply. Uh, some I got uh, when we would buy plants, they'd always just throw those things in to get rid of them. So some of them I bought, or bought the plants and just kept the things. Um, the seed, Southern Seed Exchange or Baker Creek, which is rareseeds.com. Um, that's where most of these have come from. There's a couple of other places, I think. Annie's does regular uh, does the uh, non-GMO seeds and so you know there's a few places that you can get them from other than Baker Creek and Southern Seed Exposure there's another one I keep trying to think of what it was but or Southern Seed Exchange Southern Seed Exposure is good too but they do sell GMO stuff I try not to buy from anybody that if they sell GMO uh, So that's where we're at right now. We still ain't done. And then we'll have to re-skin this thing. I'm sure by winter. And when we do, we'll put it in greenhouse plastic. These are tied together just like the Texas Prepper talked about doing. And then the little insulation that keeps the wire from cutting through. There's a few things that have done different, but I didn't do much different. Got a bolt door handle for and latch for when I'm inside. And an old 
old timey latch for outside, just made it out of scrap. And then last year, I built that chicken pen. It's got a predator skirt, uh, et cetera, around it. So nothing can break in. But we needed something for peacocks, turkeys, etc. It's all nasty back here. We had never cleaned up from the winter. But we come up with it's two dog kennels put together. And um, just a tarp that's strung over it. And inside these are PVC. You can see, I mean, made the rafter and everything. Now the PVC, it's so-so. You have to watch it in the wintertime. We just got another bad storm. We're in mud season. And as you can tell, my garden is not my garden yet. It's still. It's just soppy. The other garden I can't get into at all. I can get into this one better than I can the other one. But it is what it is. Me and my cousin were talking. He said, when you think it'll stop raining? I told him, I said, about the time we uh, plant our gardens, then it'll quit. But can you see the hose? It splits off where my daughter waters the bird, her birds. And then it splits over to here, then I can split it four ways from here. Which eventually, this will split and also feed. Uh, I'm not going over in the mud. You can see on the pole over there, the metal T post. There's a gadget, and I got them at Tractor Supply. I really like them. They're cheap. They work good. These right here, they uh, mount on the top. You just screw and hold on to it. And uh, they, I mean, they really work good. They're better than I thought they would. So that's where we're at now. Mud season.